How to install double French doors. This is the space we're going to put double French doors on. I've ripped out the old door. There's the door frame. What's left of it. I've put in a new header. I opened it up as much as I could, which ends up being 58 inches. It was kind of limited because it had to line up with that wall over there so we could maintain this closet thing where the furnace is. The door frame is about two inches bigger in width and height than I need. So I went with 28 inch doors, 58 inch wide, and 82 inches high. Okay, this is going to make it a lot easier because it is a uh, pre-machined door frame set for double doors. Here are the 28 inch doors. Millette. The windows are presently covered in paper so you can paint it. I've got two of them. And Home Depot supplied them all. These were about 140 bucks each. One of the complications of this job, I had to move the double switch, which used to be right about here. And now, because I have this open, I was able to easily relocate the switch. I'm about to trim the header. The header needs to be an inch and a half longer than the two doors. So the two doors uh, are each 28, 56, so I've measured to 57 and a half, and that's where I'm gonna cut it off. I'm trimming the door jams down to 81. That'll leave about an inch of space for the doors to go over top of the carpet. <laughs> Now it's time to assemble. I have put the side jams underneath the door header. Hammer them in with three nails each. Put them one side, I'm about to do the other side. Then we'll try it in the rough opening. The door frame is in place. And I've tacked it in with a three inch finishing nail there shims to level it. However, if you look here, you can see an error in the pre-engineered wood. It's wider and then back to normal. So it actually has a bend in it, but easily fixed with my handy dandy quick clamp. And I just squeeze it into place. And we can check for level. pretty good. I know how far out the frame has to stick. It has to be a half inch to account for the drywall. So I've got this piece of wood which is a half inch and I'm using that to gauge how far to put it out. I've got my shims here which I can push in each way and the wedges push the frame out until it's level. Cut off the shims that are hanging out running a knife along, and then just snap them right off. We are ready to install the doors with the new carpet and laminate in, and leaving one eighth of an inch at the top, we had to shorten the doors See, we took off about a half inch off the doors. Took it off the bottom because the bottom had a little more space than the tops. And now we're going to sort of dado out the hinge space. 
we shortened it with uh, a very fine finishing blade. Good quality, but really cheap. So we can throw it away later. That way we didn't rip the door. And, Good and sharp. it's now set to uh, the right depth to do the hinges. Yes, and we will check that. Right now. We're gonna cut out the groove for the hinges using the circular saw because I don't have a handheld router. First door is hung and it needs a little bit of an adjustment at the top because it's not quite level, it sags in the middle a little bit. Once the doors were hung, we had to drill out the doorknob using the template. Here's our trusty hole saw. And now we're carving out the edge for the strike plate. That's what's called. Both doorknobs are in, and we will check to see if they fit together. The sweet click of a door working. And to keep the uh, stationary door locked in place, installed one of these, it slides up. Now it's time for a piece of trim. I'm going to go right here on the stationary door to cover the space and then the door is done. French doors are complete. Doorknobs in place. Space hider. A little door jam. And we can now open it up. And there we have it. In all its glory. Click one of these videos for more great Burke Bunch TV. And don't forget to subscribe. And here is the finished popcorn niche. The home theater is finished on the inside. It's time to take a look. You can see I've got the movie posters on the walls.